Okay, we have a full agenda. Um, it's full of really hopefully fun and interesting things for all of you guys, and that's why you're here. Um, because it's so full, I'd like to ask you guys to help us keep it on time by trying to be seated and getting your coffee quickly and all of that. That'd be very helpful. Um, and to go through quickly the agenda, we have in the morning presentations, and then we'll have workshops in the afternoon. Um, at Right before lunch, I will tell you where the workshops are. We're placing them based off the size that you guys polled. So I sent you guys a poll um, in a couple of emails. Feel free to still fill it out till 11.30 today. Based on the size, we'll determine where each workshop will be. The biggest one will be in here. Um, some housekeeping items. Uh, we're gonna be th that conference where we ask that you wear your badge at all times. If you're not wearing your badge, we might have to ask you to leave or go get it. We appreciate your help on this one. Um, Wi-Fi is in multiple corners of the room. If you, uh, I emailed it yesterday. Feel free to ask if you if forget it or if your phone forgets it. Just let us know. Um, tonight we have a welcome reception at five. So we'll leave here and then you guys can continue your networking and badgering the speakers downstairs. Um, and so I want to give you guys a quick rundown also on the people who are here based off of your self-reported uh, selections when you applied. So we have a very uh, technical conf people, attendees, technical attendees. 56.6% of you are practitioners, that means you're an engineer or coder. 10.4% um, of you identified as academic researchers. 11.3% um, identified as part of the community or governance. And 12% of you are non-technical influencers, such as um, businesses or venture capitalists. So we're really excited to have this diverse crowd, and we think it's going to be a good conference. And lastly, the reason why I'm up here instead of our executive director is because he's literally in the hospital right now because his wife is very much pregnant and might very much be in labor. Um, so we're going to have him live stream. Well, not live stream. He's not live stream. <laughs> He's pre-recorded. Um, we're going to have him give some comments, and then we'll have Zuko come on. So without further ado, Josh Cincinnati. Hello, everyone, and welcome to ZCon Zero. We're so glad to have you. I'm a little less glad that I'm not there to be glad in person, but it's for a very good reason. I'm coming to you as a giant projection because my wife is heavily pregnant with our first child. Uh, in fact, according to an actuarial chart that I checked on the internet, by the time you see this, there's a 10% chance that I'll be a father. <laughs> uh, but given the risk and timing, I thought it would be irresponsible to gallivant off to Canada when my daughter might be born any day. But I promise, promise, I will skip my next child's birth to be with you. Anyway, for forget about me. Uh, let's get back to you and why you're all here at ZCon Zero. Privacy in all of its forms, from bleeding edge cryptography to this rather tasteful divider behind me. <laughs> Whether you're a researcher, student, practitioner, blockchain developer, investor, or a category I'm sure I missed, you're here because you care about privacy. Privacy is a fundamental human right. And while some of us are lucky enough to live in countries that afford that protection legally, we've seen many of those protections steadily erode, either overtly removed by jingoistic cries in that hollow surveillance for safety trade, or subtly slowly pulled out from under us by corporations that claim a fairer trade for the invasion of privacy. If you could call the creature comforts afforded by enabling our thermostats to connect to the internet a fair trade. I don't want to live in the kind of world where those protections continue to slip away from us. And I certainly don't want my daughter to inherit such a place. But she doesn't have to. Under the shadows of encroaching power of ever more authoritarian governments, beneath the thumb of data to profit generating machines operated by uncaring oligarchs, there is a road ahead. And it's a road that everyone here is collectively building. One where decentralized, publicly accessible networks are structurally and definitively private. Right now, you all are co-located in Montreal, but many of you live substantial portions of your lives online and already take advantage of privacy that you have the expertise to create for yourselves. I know I do. That's how cypherpunk communities tend to work and how they're able to bridge divides of identity and geography. 
You can have deep friendships and collaborate productively with people you've never met in person. The internet has been enabling this mode of engagement for the past few decades. Cypherpunks stay in touch through mailing lists and bug reports and IRC and Twitter and Rocket Chat. Both the creation and ongoing development of Zcash and other cryptocurrencies are part of a new frontier in human self-organization. Competence and integrity are what matter, and you can prove those personal attributes using any pseudonym. And perhaps one day, with the right dash of zero-knowledge systems, it may even be possible to demonstrate reputational credibility without even revealing your pseudonym. We are both builders and users of the systems that protect our privacy. Now, that said, face-to-face -face conversations in the physical realm have yet to be fully replaced with a remote alternative, my large floating pre-recorded face notwithstanding. And as a result at the foundation, we're excited about hosting Zcon Zero because building familiarity and trust in person, meet space, as the kids call it, will strengthen the whole community and bring us closer to a world with broad, easily accessible privacy for the masses. Coming together to share knowledge and get to know each other better is an investment in the future of Zcash and the larger privacy and cryptocurrency ecosystem. Nurturing that hard to pin down feeling of belonging to a friendly, mutually supportive community can only improve all of our futures and the privacy infrastructure that we're striving to build. Individual connections are the building block, so we hope you'll make friends with people while you're here. And by the way, try the Zcon Zero hashtag on Twitter to find fellow attendees who are looking for coffee and lunch buddies. Now, you all probably know a lot about what to expect for the conference, but in case you don't, the days follow three main tracks. Today is Zcash focused, tomorrow is about privacy technology beyond Zcash, and day three is all about governance. Each day follows the same general structure, talks in the morning, early afternoon, and workshops following that. We are grateful for all the speakers and workshop organizers who have graciously volunteered their time and considerable talent to be here. A few notes about logistics. There is no time for Q&A during the speaker sessions, but please save your questions for the workshops. We also expect everyone here to abide by the values of the Zcash Foundation, which you can find on our GitHub page. But to summarize the key points, be inclusive, be humble, and be open to collaboration. If someone violates these values, or if you have any problems or questions about this, or really anything else logistically, please find a staffer. They're wearing gold staff stickers on their badges. In fact, if those staffers could stand up now so everyone can see them, uh, please, please do so. I hope that was a reasonable time for a pause. It's always hard to tell with a pre-recorded message. Uh, now, on top of everything else that it represents, Zcon Zero is a belated coming out party for the foundation. You might not realize this, or you might uh, realize it, but uh, the Zcash Foundation is a separate organization from the company, and a much younger one, but we're gearing up fast. Since February, the foundation has brought on three full-time employees, myself included, and we'll make technical hires before the end of the year. Our grants program is chugging along, dispensing funds to exciting development and research efforts, and we've already learned a lot from our first round of open governance. This conference is one of our biggest efforts to date. Zcon Zero was largely planned by Anthony Hodge, the Foundation's fantastic operations director, along with Paige Peterson, the Zcash company's amazing community team lead. Kudos to both of them. Definitely walk up and say thank you when you had a chance. Realistically, the foundation is still figuring out its place in the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem, and no doubt Zcon Zero will present a wonderful opportunity for us to collect feedback there too. We appreciate all the help and feedback that we've gotten so far, much of it from you generous souls in the audience today. Thank you so much. We really hope you enjoy the conference and that this in-person collaboration accelerates building a road to effective ubiquitous privacy. And now, to take it away, is a very much not video recorded Zugo Wilcox. Thanks. <laughs>